The focus of my research has been filtration media, trying to separate particles from fluid streams. Filter, of course, filter media is made out of fibers. Fibers are good at, at separating particles. And early on in my research program, I decided I wanted to look for smaller fibers and test the performance of, of smaller fibers. That led me eventually to uh, applying electrospinning. We've been looking at liquid-liquid systems, removing water out of oil, uh, in particular water drops out of diesel fuel. Other applications with the nanofibers are uh, catalysis. If you put the right chemistry, the right precursor chemistry into the polymer fibers, then you can calcine, that is burn the fiber, and in that process you take the chemicals that are in the fiber and convert them into ceramic. So we can make alumina, titania, nickel oxide, zinc oxide, many others that we've done. The oxide structures retain the shape and structure of the nanofiber, the polymer nanofiber. Ceramic structures made out of these nanofibers and we can put catalyst in the ceramics as part of the initial structure or the, the initial chemistry. So when the fibers are formed, the catalyst particles are already in the, in the ceramic material too. And we've tested those and we get very good performance. We can get the same performance with our catalytic converter nanofiber media as uh, the performance of a catalytic converter on an automobile. But our media only has 5% of the amount of catalyst and catalyst is expensive. We put the catalyst in polymer fibers and we make a membrane of the polymer fibers and the membrane is one that rejects the liquid phase so the liquid doesn't pass through the membrane. We can put the liquid on one side of the membrane, the gas on the other side of the membrane. Now the liquid is in contact with the catalyst particle in the nanofiber membrane. The gas is in contact with the catalyst particle from the other side and we're getting higher, uh, higher reaction rates and even higher selectivity of the reaction. So we're, we're very hopeful that this is going to lead to something that the uh, chemical process industry will be able to use. Uh, some of the other applications, we look at the structural properties of the mat. Those, those mat structures then have a much higher contact angle with the liquid drops and when the contact angle is greater than 150 it's referred to as superhydrophobic. The superhydrophobic mats we have studied as flat sheets. So a flat structure, um, the diesel fuel would flow through the, fl the flat sheet as a normal filter media and water droplets would collect on the outside of the sheet. We did calculations on that and found out that the length of the contact line between the droplet and the surface is smaller for the tubular shape and because it's smaller it takes uh, gravity is able to remove smaller drops from that surface and we can actually get higher performance out of that type of structure instead of working with a flat sheet filter media make it as a tubular filter and we can achieve higher efficiency in the separation. We found that very interesting and so we actually have done some studies and can get high performance good flow rates um, to separate water drops out of diesel fuel. It's hard to say when people uh, the average person is going to uh, find nanofiber products on the market. But the reality is nanofiber products are already out there. You just don't know it. Many filter media themselves have nanofibers in them already. But if you are interested in knowing you know, how soon can I go online and order a nanofiber shirt where the fabric is nothing but nanofibers, that might be some, some time away. The future of, of nanofibers and nanofiber research is, is uh, very positive. I think people will continue to work with these materials and find new applications and uh, 
find ways, new ways to make these fibers that will make them cheaper so that they are more readily available to the general public.